I love traveling. I have traveled almost 800 cities across the world and I would love to travel more. I would like to travel all the cities, all the countries in the world and I know there are a lot of people who also love traveling like me. If you are a traveler, this video is for you. We live in 21st century and we have phones, tablets, laptops we have many applications for our users but today we are discussing top applications for your phone if you're a traveler without further ado let's dive in the apps we are sharing today will be divided into five different categories our number one category is navigation for navigation my top app is google maps i love google maps and i'm a google map um, contributor i love contributing in google maps because i always follow google maps i follow the recommendations suggestions reviews on google maps and i believe that a lot of people who have shared their experiences on google map and that attracted me or that made me realize whether i want to go to that place or not so i also should leave my review back for other people so google map is my number one on my list and the second is TripAdvisor. if you are someone who also likes TripAdvisor or you would like to book your accommodation would like to see the places you would like to see the reviews TripAdvisor is also a great choice i am typically not a trip advisor person i although i have TripAdvisor, but i don't really do much with this but google map comes first in my choice our second category is accommodation in accommodation couchsurfing is my number one applications i am a couchsurfing ambassador i have been on couchsurfing for many years i love to host people i also surf with people i go to different meetings i organize meetings i join events i meet people randomly even if i don't need an accommodation or i am not able to host somebody but i still meet a lot of people and i have met amazing souls on couchsurfing i had my best experience so far and i love the concept that in couchsurfing you actually try travel like a local for instance you're traveling to Poland tomorrow and you don't know anybody in Poland but when you have couchsurfing you don't necessarily need to know you can just type Poland on your couchsurfing applications and you can find host there and you can message them you can communicate with them you can get whatever information you need whatever help you need they are very very helpful people and can have your way you have a person in car Poland and you know somebody you want to know more people you can know more people message more people but keep in mind that if you have a fresh couchsurfing profile it does not necessarily work like that it's chicken and egg situation chicken is before or egg came before so you have to have multiple references on couchsurfing without a multiple references people will not really be helpful or host you because they're opening their home to you why they will open their home for you if they don't know anything about you so you have to have a complete profile you have to have references you have to have a verified member so if you have pretty much all the bars then a lot of people will be more uh, friendly and will open their door for you i typically host a lot of people but i only host those people they also host at their home so they know what you can do what you cannot do at somebody else's home before you travel with couchsurfing please build your profile meet the local people go to meetings in your local city meet people in your city and get references from them and host people first then you try to surf with other people so couchsurfing comes my number one app and my second app second third fourth app will be airbnb booking.com and agoda i have all three apps but i don't use all the apps mostly i use agoda and booking.com but in some places airbnb is more popular so you have to keep in mind that all the applications are not popular in every destination so you need to do your research that which application is popular in that particular country or that particular city that way you can use the app accordingly our next app in accommodation category is hostel world hostel world is something that has many hostels that are not listed on agoda or booking.com or definitely not airbnb i was thinking for one city that there is no hostel and i was living in a friend's house and then i was switching for different different friend's house because we can't live in one place for a long time so i made a traveler and that person say he is staying in a property and i said what kind of a property it is and they he said it's a hostel i said there is no hostel in the city is it no there is i am staying in one and i said like uh, can you show me the picture and he showed me the picture and i was stunned because that was a beautiful property vintage kind of a building ancient uh, building and it's such a beautiful property and i went there with him and there were so many people were living in there such a massive property and i was like how come i don't know and i could not find this property on booking.com and agoda then he said that not all the property all the hostel 
property are listed in these two apps because probably they are fully booked by Hostel World and they don't need to book in any other platforms. So then I downloaded Hostel World and there was a new world open to me on my phone. And since then I am using that app for every single trip. If you are someone who loves to travel in hostels, you should try one. If you don't know the difference between a hostel and a hotel, let me clarify it to you. Hotel is something we know that uh, there is a room, we can book a room and there is a restaurant, we can eat there, there is a swimming pool, desk and everything is there. But in hotels, people are not very sociable. There is no common room for the guests to talk. But in a hostel, you have common rooms. You have laundry, you have kitchen, you can use your kitchen, you can cook there and you can keep your food in their fridge, you can use the common room, you can, there's a game room, there is multiple lounges for travelers or the guests to talk and uh, normally you meet a lot of travelers or young travelers in hostel. So I love hostel because I can connect with a lot of travelers and they can give you really good information because somebody probably already visited that city and they're exiting from that city. So you can get all their experiences and do's and don'ts before you start your journey. But if you're living in a hotel, it's not possible for you to speak with the other guests and get the experience from them. Also, you can make great friends through this hostel. I made several friends through hostel and uh, I'm still in touch with them. I keep seeing them. We are in touch on social media. We also plan to travel some other destinations and uh, this can be a lifetime friendship for you. So if you're someone who is an extrovert, hostel is something that you should check out if you haven't done that already. But if you're an introvert, maybe hostel is not a great place for you. Our next category is flight, bus, train and local transportation. So if you're someone who books your own flight, then a Google flight is something you must check out. Google flight is something that you can get very cheap flights and the same flight you can get in a cheaper price. How cool is that? For instance, you are traveling from one city to another city and you don't have any specific destination because this is a leisure time and you have some holidays, you want to just travel. So for instance, I live in Bangladesh, so I can put my Taka Bangladesh, like my departure point and my arrival point is open. So I can see a lot of flights uh, available across the world and I can see also the prices. So I can choose my destination according to my budget. For instance, I want to go to Europe, but I don't have any specific city. So when I put, put uh, Dhaka to Europe and then I can see so many other cities that where I can land and I can pick the cheapest best price. This way you can actually save a lot of money and bam. So don't put like fixed destination. Don't put like Dhaka to Paris or Dhaka to Amsterdam, Dhaka to Italy. So you keep it open and you can see the best prices. My second app in this category is Skyscanner. If you want to compare your prices, different flight prices, you can check with Skyscanner and you can see the differences in different prices. So this way you can actually choose your airline and your cities to travel on. I don't use Skyscanner a lot but I have seen a lot of travelers they use Skyscanner so I thought I should put it in this category for you if you want to check it out. My next up in this category is Expedia. If you want to do some kind of expedition or experiences, different kind of activities, this is a great app for you to check out. You can put your cities and you can check out all the activities that they offer and you can book any of them and they normally provide great deals and uh, I usually don't really use it but I check it for an inspiration. So what kind of activities we can do in that city. This gives me an idea and I do my own research and I can plan with my friends that I make in that city from couch surfing or in the hostels and I plan with them so I can give them points like let's do this let's do that that's a starting point for me so it's a reference for me but if you want you can actually book the activities if you want but you can also book flights hotels cars from this app the next app in this category is hopper if you want to get a notification that like you want to travel to that destination or this destination you can try hopper hopper can give you a really good idea about when the price is dropping and when the price is increasing so you get a price alert in hopper and I normally take it for an inspiration so I typically don't book my own tickets because I have a travel agent and why I do that because we have a limitation in using dollars because uh, one Bangladeshi citizen can use maximum twelve thousand dollars in one year so imagine I take cash when I'm traveling I also use my credit cards I use my debit cards. so I already have limitations in my dollar uses if I also use my cards to book my flights 
I will finish my dollar users very soon. So I use my travel agent to use his credit for his dollar limit for my tickets. So I don't have a dollar crunch in my credit card. This is why I do it. But if you are someone who doesn't have a limitation, you are free to go. The next app in this category is local transportation. You can use Uber, Lyft or Grab. I live in Bangladesh. We have Uber here. We don't have Lyft or Grab. And uh, so when I land in a different country, I typically use my Uber. And if that country does not have Uber, you can always use Grab or Lyft. But do your research before you land in that country, what kind of transportation they have. Pretty much all the country also have their local transportation. But in my experience, international uh, companies do much better. For example, in my country, we have Pata, we have Obhai, we have Uber. But Uber always gives me a constant service. It might not be the best, but it always gives me a steady service. So I can always rely on it. And I know that when it's like too late, I generally don't book uh, Uber X and I book Uber Premier because Premier has better driver, better cars, and it is more safe for people at night or for ladies. This is editing Shami. I just realized that I did not give you the two most important apps and the category is language. When we travel to a different country, the country may speak a different language than we speak in our home country. So the most important apps are Duolingo and Google Translate. So Duolingo is something that if you want to learn some new language, you can download on your phone, you can go to the website from your laptop or your computer and you can learn any language that you want to. Google Translate it if you want to learn something immediately, you can have it on your phone and whenever you are trying to communicate with somebody, they do not speak English and you do not know the language or that particular language, that line of that language, you can immediately write on your own language and that can translate. Sometimes this is not 100% correct, they may sound weird to native speakers but that's okay. Hey, you are a traveler and you are trying to put that effort that you are trying to learn a new language or you want to communicate in their language in their country. So they would definitely appreciate. So when I travel, I did use Duolingo and Google Translate several times like so there are so many languages we can uh, learn and do stuffs and uh, you may sound a native sometimes. Our next category is ETC etc because it has many different kinds of apps so I thought let me put it like ETC because it covers pretty much a lot of things. So number one eSIM. If you are a person that you use eSIM that Y-E-S-I-M eSIM is one of the best that I have used so far. I also use international roaming of my local phone because sometimes when I land in a country and and if my international roaming gives me a better deal, why not use my international roaming? And my local people already know that number. I don't have to distribute that number, but it's also a bad thing sometimes because you're on a holiday and you don't want to get your office calls. So plan better, whatever works for you, but check out the deals before you decide which one to use. The next app is currency. XC.com is one of the best in this category. I have used it for many, many years and not only travel. I also use it on a daily basis if I need to exchange some currency or in, I need to calculate some currency and I always use XC. I use it on my laptop, I use it on my phone all the time. So download XC.com and calculate your currency exchange. Whichever country you are, they have everything in there. The next app is a messaging app and I found WhatsApp is something that is covered all the countries. You go any country and someone, pretty much most of them will have WhatsApp and I have found WhatsApp is a great app to messaging because you have calls, video calls you can send pictures videos but if you want to send high resolution you can also send as a document size and there you do not lose your resolutions but it has a backlog because it stores in your phone if you are worried about your phone storage then you go for telegram telegram does not store on your phone so i am a salsa dancer and i have many salsa friends across the globe and when we exchange salsa videos we actually use telegram instead of whatsapp so i have both you can also have both the next app is weather because when you are traveling you need to know the weather to pack better to prepare better or to decide whether you want to travel to that country or the city or not so i use my phone weather and that works just perfectly fine but if you want to check out any other weather app you can go ahead and download aku weather or google weather whatever works for you the next app is google calendar google calendar is something that is a part of my life for many many years since i know google i use google calendar and i have found this is very very helpful to organize my trip so I can actually use my Google Calendar to plan my trip, like my departure day. And it gives me notification that you have seven days 
left and then a flight is on that time and whatever time zone I'm I will be traveling if it's a different time zone of course because country to country varies I can also know that what time I'm landing in there and uh, with city I'm in landing so everything is on my one calendar I don't have to look into different different things because I use different kinds of app to do different things for my travel so Google Calendar combines every single thing our next app in this category is pack point if you're someone who's an overpacker or don't know what to pack for that kind of trip you can use pack point it is an inspiration and uh, you can choose like uh, download the app they will ask you whether you're a man or a woman girl or a boy what kind of trip it is it is a business trip it is a expedition trip it is a mountain trip it is a ski trip so you can actually put whatever you are doing in there and they will give your guidance what to pack but you can customize it later on but to have an inspiration point you can actually use that point someone who doesn't really use this app because i am a grid packer and i have many packing videos in my channel i'm gonna link all of them in the description box below if you want please check it out and that's all we have for you today thank you so much for watching our video but let me know in the comment box below what app really helps you in your travel or you want to use it if you don't want to use any app let me know why you don't want to use any app thank you take care bye bye